What's up guys? My name is Adam Neor and today I'm here to kind of go over a game that was released quite a while ago um, back in November of 2016 called Fantastic Beasts Cases from the Wizarding World. So since I'm going to be trying to cover a lot of the portkey umbrella games um, which was created by WB Games um, about a month or two ago, so in the most recent months, um, I thought might as well try some games that they've put out before or that their developers have put out before while we're waiting for those new games to come out. Specifically, um, Harry Potter Wizards Unite, the AR game from Niantic that, again, it will be published under the Portkey Games label. Um, and then also the Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, which, again, poor key game, but it'll also be done, it'll be developed by Jam City. Um, so both of those companies, Jam City and Niantic, have put out some good quality games. Niantic really only has two at the moment because they only have two AR games in Ingress and Pokemon Go. So I'm going to try to try to see try my hand in Pokemon Go um, in a later video since I'll try to be since I'll be covering Wizards Unite later on when it releases in 2018 um, but this first game uh, Fantastic Beasts in Cases of the Wizarding World was under the umbrella of the WB Games before they created Portkey Games and it was developed by Media Tonic now here's a little excerpt of on the fandom page um, of Fantastic Beasts and Cases from the Wizarding World, which from now on I'm just going to say call it Cases. Um, so Cases is a mobile hidden object game available on Android and iOS devices, developed by Mediatonic and published by WB Games. I already said that. Um, but players take on the role of a new recruit for the Ministry of Magic's Department of for the regulation and control of magical creatures who investigates mysteries involving magical beasts. The player's character is partnered with Mathilda Grimblehawk and fellow employee in the Beast Division to solve cases that center around the uncovering and protection of magical beasts. Gameplay requires the player to find hidden objects, cast spells, brew potions, and identify beasts to solve the mystery. Various cases take the player's the player to familiar locations in the Wizarding World, such as the Leaky Cauldron, Diagon Alley, and Hogsmeade, as well as to other unfamiliar ones. So, we're going to go ahead and start playing that. Um, so I have played a little bit before, I got a new phone, so it'll, it'll be starting over. Um, but, let's go ahead and start the record here. Classic Harry Potter Wizarding World theme song. Right, let's see, play. So I don't know if it'll pick up where I left off. Uh, doesn't look like it. So, Mathilda, Matilda, welcome to the Ministry of Magic. Glad to see you found the Beast Division. Okay, I'm Mathil my Matilda Grimblehawk, your new partner. We don't just investigate incidents involving magical creatures here, we also get to deal with the beasts. Sounds dangerous, right? Don't worry, I expect your first day will be pretty quiet. Officer Langram, Langarm, come with me quickly. You're needed at the Chudley Cannons training grounds. Matilda, that was Officer Cerebus Langarm from Magical Law Enforcement. We better follow him. I hope you're ready. Cerberus Langarm, I'm going to just screw up the names totally. Um, this is where the Chudley Cannons train. Best Quidditch team in the league. Not that you know by watching them play last season. Cerberus. A groundskeeper heard trouble, terrible screeching from the pitch and fled for help. I'll secure the area while you two see what you can find. Alright, so, looks like uh, we're going to start our search here. Let's see, find six objects. Okay, golden snitch. Oh, find all of the objects 
listed at the bottom of the screen. Start with the leather gloves. All right, leather gloves, so click on that. Okay, if you need some help, you can use the hint. Try it now, all right. So there's Matilda, okay. So um, I guess those would be the Spectre specs, all right. You can zoom in by pushing your fingers apart and zoom out by pulling them together. Okay, so that makes it a little easier to see. Now find the rest of the object. So it looks like we have four more to find. So golden snitch, got right there. Let's see red flower, red flower right there. Beater's bat. Let's see, where's the beater's bat? Oh, it's down here, it looks like. And an injured Quidditch player. Let's see, looks like he's sleeping right there underneath that blanket. So we have a new clue, injured Quidditch player. All right. So it looks like we got 180 points. Oh, 300 points. 300,000. So 400,000 points total. And we got a star, it looks like, and some rewards of coins, some experience. Um, you, 400,000. We're still way below those first three, those top three on the leaderboard. And continue. Matilda, I don't believe it. This is Gordon Horton, the cannon's keeper, and he looks hurt. You're right. We should get him to St. Mungo's right away. He needs a healer. New location unlocked. Add to case files. All right. Let's see. You can keep track of your tasks by viewing your task list right there. Tap here to investigate the clue you just discovered. Okay. All right. Start a consult consultation with the Ministry to find out what happened to the Quidditch players. Okay. You can finish the consultation instantly by using gems. Here's some to get you started. Alright, continue. So we have 50, 50 gems there. They just gave us 50 more. Um, so here we go. Skip. Yep, complete. Alright, so we just skipped those two hours. It's time to check the results. Let's see what they got. Ah, you're from Regulation and Control of Magical Creatures, yes? I'm Healer Abasi. Omar Abasi. The Quidditch Keeper you found, Mr. Horton, has a mild concussion from his fall. It's nothing we can't deal with. However, his kit has been badly torn by... something. The damage suggests sharp claws. Okay. It must have been a beast. Okay, we need to have a chat with Gordon to find out what happened. You intend to interrogate him? Now? Hmm. Very well, but make it quick. He needs to rest. Alright, so new identifier found. Sharp claws. Add to case files. So it looks like we have identifiers, which will help us see who, or, or what, which beasts we're looking for. Um, but anyway, use the star you earned searching the Quidditch pitch to start this task. Okay, go. Alright, so there's that star that we earned. Glad to see you're awake, Gordon. How are you feeling? I feel like I caught a bludger to the head. Wouldn't be the first time. Well, that was quite a fall you took. We're from the Ministry. Can you tell us what happened? I was just getting a bit of extra practice with the quaffle when something came swooping out of the sky and hit me. Oh, I just want to stop there and look at, look how realistic those uh, the investigator Matilda and the Quidditch keeper Gordon kind of look like. It's pretty cool. Be cooler if they were moving, but they they're just kind of stuck in that in that posture whenever they're talking. Oh, there he goes. He switched. It all happened so fast. But whatever it was came from somewhere near the old bell tower, I think. Okay, poor guy. The Chudley Cannons have got enough problems as it is. But we've got our next lead. We should go to that bell tower he mentioned and see what we can find. Ooh, we got another identifier, so it can fly. Okay, so we have sharp claws, and it can fly so far. Um, what creatures could that be? Not sure yet. I think we need some more clues. Um, you've unlocked a new scene. You can view all your scenes here. All right, under scenes. So we have all our scenes there, so we're supposed to go there, investigate the new scene. Okay. So let's go ahead and do it. It's going to cost... Oh. Searching scenes uses energy. Tap here to spend your energy and search the scene. Okay, so it costs 20 energy. Looks like we have 110 energy to start off with. 
So let's go. That'll give us five options. That'll give us five turns. I'm guessing that's where uh, pay to play kind of comes in. All right, let's look at so broom. Looks like we got it there. Feather there. Got a nest somewhere. Or a chain. Sticky note. Packet of crisps. Got chips. A toy car. Looks like it's right there. A nest. Is that the nest? Yeah. That's a huge nest. Holy cow. I don't think it's a small creature we're, we're dealing with. Continue a sticky note. Sticky note. Oh, there it is on the left over there. And a chain. Well, let's just use one of these guys and find where the chain is. Oh, there it is. All right. Cool. Great job. 210,000. Oh, 300,000. All right, so it looks like we got 400,000 again on that one as well. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Bet they're going to talk about um, that nest. What's that you found? A nest. Well, that confirms we're not dealing with a dragon, at least. But there could be something in there that tells us more. Let's search through it. You can view all evidence you've collected from here. In the evidence tab. Alright, so you, so again, I'm just going to look at the screen. We got identifier, so sharp claws and can fly. Um, that's, what we, that's what we looked at before. We looked at uh, the clothing from, from the keeper. And let's go ahead and examine that next. So it just costs one star. It goes right in there. Matilda, what could this nest be hiding? Let's clean it up a bit to s and see if there's anything under there. Alright. So what do we have to do? Oh, we get to do a spell. Alright, so I guess gotta trace it. Scourgeify! Swipe over the hidden object to reveal what's hidden. Alright. So I guess just kind of scribble over it as fast as you can. Oh, progress. 60%. Oh, well, looks like there's some eggshells or something. Let's go. 91 almost there. Come on. Alright, scene complete. Scribbled on the scene long enough. Great, so we got four energy back. So that brings us up to 95. It means we only need five more to have our, our six go. Great work. So, what have we got here? Fragments of something. We should take a closer look. I'm guessing that's going to use another... Uh, oh, we leveled up. We got 50 more... 50 more energies. Sweet. 145 out of 110. Alright. Put the fragments back together. You don't have enough stars to start this task. You can earn more stars by playing scenes. Go to scenes. You can search more stars by searching Quitch Picture of the Old Bell Tower. Continue. Okay, so we also have a bonus scene over here that we can do. Uh, let's go to the Quidditch pitch. Let's just go ahead and use all this, uh, all these energies. Find eight objects this time. It seems we were at six before. Stretcher, that must be that. Spectre, Specs, Golden Snitch, those are right where they were when we left them. Leather gloves, same thing. Balloons, we got them up there. Ball rack, way out there. Cauldron, right there, and the beater's bat should be where it was before, right there, all right, 22 seconds, times five, I don't know what that, that means, probably some sort of multiplier, okay, we ended up with 490,000, that was more than before, and we got our second star of that round, continue, okay, we now have enough stars to examine the clue, go, examine, Let's try putting these fragments back together with a mending charm. Okay. Oh, trace the spell. Why is this one? Reparo! Drag the fragments together to repair the object. Okay, so I guess I just have to put it together. So let's try that. And that. And that. Scene complete. Looks like we got a full egg. Ooh, six. All right. It's an egg, and a big one at that. The beast we're looking for must have laid this. Another identifier. 
lays a large egg. Alright, so again, that's it's gonna be a large animal. Or beast. Large beast! Now you've got all the evidence, it's time to identify the beast. Alright. So, go. Oh, so it only uh, gives us two choices here. So, let's look at the Akami. So it can fly, it looks like both can fly, it lays a large egg. Sure. Um, I bet both of them do. Hippogriff, or sharp claws, it looks like Hippogriff has claws. The Akami doesn't have any, have any arms or hands or anything. But let's look at it first. Um, compare the beast to, identif to the identifiers you found. Tap on match when you think it's the one you're looking for. Continue. Okay. So, more about the Akami. Winged with serpentine body. Okay. So it can fly. Native to Far East and India. That's pretty much irrelevant. Irrelevant. Lays many eggs of purest silver. Okay, so it lays eggs. Grows or shrinks to fit available space. So if you saw the movie, this is a big thing that, that popped up in that warehouse that Newt had to go. And they had a big action scene and put it into a little teacup. But I don't think this is the match. It doesn't have the claws. Let's go with Hippogriff. So more about the Hippogriff. Again, Harry, uh, this is one of the first care of magical creatures um, in Harry Potter, in the Harry Potter stories. Um, more about the hippogriff. Uh, it has, it's a great flying beast, so it flies. Talons of up to a foot long, so it definitely has sharp claws. Lays one large, lays one large egg. So those are our three qualifiers or identifiers. Um, fourth clue should only be approached by experts, but that's pretty much a null point, especially because we know it's not the Akami, um, and this has the three identifiers. So let's just click match. And beast identified. Our first beast was a hippogriff. A hippogriff nesting in the hold bell tower. Of course. No wonder it attacked Gordon. The poor thing was just trying to defend its young. Excellent work on your first case. The hippogriff will be relocated so it won't interfere with the cannons anymore. Not that it will help their chances in the league. But what a find. And on your first day, too. Looks like we can expect great things from you. All right, so case one complete. Case one, something in the air. Uh, looks like there was just act one act in this one. Uh, we got 50 XP, 200 coins for reward, and continue. All right, so it looks like we can just unlock the next clip. Oh, beast name, Hippogriff. All right, so unlock the next case. Go. All right, so now you're ready to play the next case. You just click on it. Choose your identity. Oh, this is this is where it gets interesting. A wizard. Oh, first and last name. Let's see, is anything close to Adam? Avery, Augustus, Aubrey, Amrish, Amos, Alton, Alfred. Let's go Albert. I'll just be Albert. Sure. What about a last name? Last name is the wiki. Let's see if they have anything with Z's. Neck is Zushi. I don't like that. I don't like Zushi. Let's just see. Let's scroll. Random. Finlock. Eh, kind of boring. Ooh, Grimalkin. Alright, I'll accept that. Actually, let's see what random is. Albert Bogtree. No. Nicholas Rudd. It's original, but I. Or it's. Yeah, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Except. So I am Nicholas Rudd as my wizard name in this. All right, you, s you did splendidly managing that hippogriff, Nicholas. We should find somewhere to celebrate. Grimblehawk, Rudd, we just had an owl from the Leaky Cauldron. The place has been smashed up. Something went through there like a whirlwind. Sounds like a beast on the loose to me. You'll want to take a look right away. Looks like we'll be going to the pub sooner than I planned. I hope the pea soup's still on. And a new location unlocked for case two. All right, so um, I'm not going to go go through all that. The video's already kind of long, um, but as you can see, it's just kind of an easy search and find game. Um, I'll probably continue on uh, doing a few more videos on this, at least till um, 
our port key games come out next year in 2018. Um, but the next one I'll I'll do by Tinyco, which was kind of bought out by um, Jam City, and they did a few games. I want to cover um, I think three of their games, but. Yep, I want to cover three of their games. Um, the first one I'll do is the Family Guy one, not another freaking mobile game. Um, I think that's what it's called, but stay tuned. This is all in preparation for getting ready for Harry Potter Wizards Unite and Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Again, my name is Adam Neor. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.